Welcome to the annual drum break fun hour. Uh, so this is uh, obviously the rear wheel of my Peugeot 205 and uh, sadly it didn't pass inspection this year which uh, took me quite by surprise uh, because one of the rear wheels uh, don't break, it doesn't break as well as it should. Uh, it's uh, a very big difference between the two. And the issue is present both on the uh, hydraulic brake and the hand brake. So I'm thinking it's just going to be the uh, brake shoes being out of alignment. And I think, if I recall correctly, that you can access that by removing one of these uh, bolts and uh, just uh, poking around with the adjustment manually uh, through that hole. And these aren't studs, they're bolts which go into the drum uh, on this vehicle. And uh, last year I had a lot of issues with uh, this. Uh, wheel because it was a uh, leaking brake fluid all over so I rebuilt the cylinder uh, and uh, I don't recall which one it was which actually uh, didn't pass this year uh, I don't, don't think they even specified it, they just said it was a big a difference between the two but uh, we should be able to figure that out quite easily by just uh, gradually applying the handbrake and seeing which wheel starts grabbing first, and that's obviously going to be the one that's out of alignment, so that one's not grabbing. And that one seems to be grabbing just slightly. So let's take that one step further. The cabling's all new, and that one's grabbing. And that one's not grabbing a lot much at all. Is this one entirely locked now? Yeah, that one's not moving anywhere. Oh yeah, with some effort. Oh, that's still a bit more even than I'd like to see. And the cable's new and everything. And this was working fine, like 2,000 kilometers ago. So I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be looking at some more advanced issue. The big issue with this car is uh, they have these drums which are supposed to align the, the brake shoes uh, when you, you know, pull the handbrake while going in reverse but since the wheels are mounted on these uh, and whatever you'd call them arms there with a torsion bar suspension uh, that, what happens if you try and apply the handbrake while uh, going backwards and speed is the rear end of the car rises up and starts jumping around making awful 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 noises as the wheels just skip off the ground so you can't really do that very well at all but let's see if uh, this wheels uh, as locked well, that's locked as well well, this wasn't as easy as I expected. Oh, all right, I just uh, took out the paperwork and uh, they do specify. So that's for left rear brake, 1.2 kilo newtons, and that's for right one giving uh, 0.6 at uh, both the uh, hydraulic and the parking brake. So uh, we've got an issue of a right one, and indeed I just uh, had a bit of a further player and it does seem that one's grabbing uh, a bit uh, less than the other one. So we're going to be trying to adjust that one a bit, ever so slightly. Perhaps we'll try and adjust both and we want them to be uh, just a bit grabbing, almost grabbing when uh, we're not engaging the parking brake. So let's just start taking shit apart. All right, well, I'll just get some help from a friend uh, doing all of this. You need to have someone uh, pulling the handbrake lever in order to adjust this. So, sadly, I don't get a chance to show you guys too much of a procedure. But, yeah, there's this little roller you wouldn't see anyway. You stick a screwdriver in there and tink, tink, tink it forwards to uh, adjust the brake. So, I've adjusted this one, which is the bad one, so that it's uh, just a bit biting when the handbrake's off. And... Uh, it does seem to be a lot better now, but uh, yeah, since the difference is about 50%, i.e. too much braking to turn the wheel and uh, too much braking to turn the wheel on the other side, uh, I'm afraid we're not going to be able to get any real proper test done on this, uh, aside from taking it out from the drive and having a feel. Uh, usually it's able to lock both wheels uh, when you're driving, so I'm hoping that's going to be the case. Uh, when I 
And the reason I actually got this failure on the inspection uh, this time was that I was using the uh, winter tires uh, f for it, and these are just uh, s very old 155-80s, uh, really, really skinny tires. So uh, these just lock up both fine, even with a bad handbrake. So yeah, didn't have too much of a chance of this really. But uh, yeah, I need to move the car anywhere to get some air into these because the compressor is not in this building. So let's just take it out for a drive. Let's get some air in the tyres. Well, let's see. If we made an improvement, I made a little break in before and it felt bad. So the last tyre seems to be breaking a lot quicker than the right one. That's not good. Oh, they both lock up. They're doing stuff at the same time, that's for sure. And let's do the horrible skippy tire thing, going backwards. This feels so bad. Well, both are capable of locking up. Let's do the foot brake. We're getting some real good Evening time vistas of all on there. Foot braking. Ooh. And just as everything with the front brakes. There's so much bias to the front brakes on this car. We need a long runner. A very long runner. Ooh. Front, front brakes before the rear brakes. They're not stuck on, that's a good thing. for you. So they do lock up, both of them. Well, that's pretty much as best as I can do. Let's see, let's, let's, let's swap the camera around and give you guys a view out the back uh, when we do the horrible jumpy thing. Alright. Prepare to witness the beauty of torsion by rear suspension. So we're going rear, backwards, and let's engage the handbrake. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? <sighs> but yeah. I'm going to call that good enough, and as you can see, the brakes are not entirely ruined because we do roll if I just let go of the brake. So, here's the hoping this is going to pass inspection. It's not good, I need to replace the entire rear brake assembly, 
but uh, they are impossible to get your hands on. In fact, if any one of you know uh, where to get good rear brake parts for a Peugeot 205, do let me know. Uh, Prefer a place, place which ships to Finland. The OE's just, uh, the dealership just says, nope, they're not available anymore. And yeah, when I tried purchasing Pirate, uh, they just uh, sent me the wrong stuff. And uh, some station also need to fix this dash clock because little plastic piece is broken in it, so I can't uh, set it anymore. Which is a real shame, I always use this clock, I love it. Little mechanical thing. But uh, yeah, you can see how it's just wiggling the minute hand around slightly. Gro grossly out of focus too, probably. And it just will not adjust. So I'm thinking about some plastic things. Sadly, the entire thing's plastic and rather worn out, so I'm hoping it can actually be fixed. Ah, uh, oh well. Thank you for watching, I guess. Cheerio.